Some of the benefit things about business is that uh, you can open up and get extra cash flow on the side, which can replace your day job and also able to help you to give the money that you want that you don't have to be able to work for, for a boss. I'm not saying it's wrong to work for a boss, but there's some people say, you know, I do not like rules. I do not like to be told what to do. And if you have a business idea, if you have something in your life that God has given you, you can use that to provide some income and with that, you can able to be your own boss. How many people want you to be your own boss here? Yes, everybody wants to be their boss. Awesome. Also, you can have the freedom, the benefits of business, you can have the freedom to do what you want, where you want, how you want, want it, and with whomever you want it. And that is the, the, the ability to have a business. Yes, it's not all starts off perfectly, but you have an idea. God can help you and to give you the ability to make it happen. Amen. Um, I just want to show some some pictures real fast about some fun facts about uh, some fun facts. I'll take out the TV by myself. No worries. Some fun facts about business. So if you can play the first slide. 70% of small businesses are owned and operated by a single person. By a single person. 70% of small businesses. We know in America, a lot of businesses are, are the, what drives the economy is small businesses. And many of them are just run by one person. With an idea to be able to solve people's problems. And that solving problems creates income for them to be able to do what they want, how they want it, and with whoever they want to. Next slide. Small businesses employ 57% of the country's private workspace. Workforce, my bad. It's hard to see. Next. 60 to 80 of all new jobs come from small businesses. And that's also another benefit of having a business that you can also provide jobs to other people. Next slide. Only, this is a little depressing, but hang on. <laughs> Only 50% of businesses survive five years, though most 70% hit the two-year mark. Next slide. The faster we go through those slides, the easier it is. Only 2% of small businesses are franchised. Most 54% are home-based small businesses. It takes just six days to start a business in the U.S. compared to a whooping 38 days in China. So you're glad that you don't live there. And also costs six times as much uh, to start a business in India than in the U.S. In India, it costs 2049 You can go back and in... Um, uh, go back to... The in U.S., it takes $325 to start a business. So if you have an idea, if you have something that you love doing, if you have the how, if you have that, that idea, God will begin to accompany you and give you the grace to accomplish the things that you want in your life. And let's go to the last slide. Immigrants make up 12.5% of small business owners nationwide. Put your hands together for yourself. <laughs> And I just want to I just want to share a little uh, testimony of my own that uh, you know when we came when we came first to America uh, our pastor who's my dad also encouraged each one of us he said you know think of, of ideas there's so many ideas that you can think of to be able to have extra income on the side and something that when I came back from Nigeria I lived there for a bit and I came back and something that I kind of love doing is uh, buying cars fixing them and selling them and as I had my regular job. I was also doing little small things on the side, which that began to provide some income for myself. And now uh, it's, it's bringing much more income than, you know, than uh, I would ever thought before. But it all started off as a dream where I wanted to say, God, I want to, you know, give away vehicles. I want to give cars away. And me and my wife last year, we gave away two vehicles in the four months that we were married. And that was a dream that I dreamed since I was a kid. And God gave me the opportunity to that. And as you're here in church and say, what does this have to do with everything? When you give your money, God will give you the ideas, the ability and the wisdom to bring that to pass. To be able to open a business, to be able to open a daycare. Is it hair salon? Is it painting, photo, Photoshop? Is it, you know, taking photos? Whatever it is, as you give, God will give you the grace to be able to make it to pass. That you don't have to work, you know, from 9 to 5 and, and, you know, wait till you're 65. Which is nothing's wrong with that. If you love doing that, that's totally fine. But if you have an idea and you want to expand and have a little extra income on the side. And even that income later on to become your main income. 
God can give you the idea and the ability to do that. And as me and my wife last year, we gave away two cars and I was praying, God, you know, I want to see breakthrough in my finances. And just a few months later after that, God gave us the grace to open our own dealership right now where we have over 20 something cars and God has been having grace upon that. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. And one thing that, that, that I've learned from this is that if you have a business idea, you know, wisdom says not to just drop everything and to pursue that business. You also have to be wise enough to, to have at least, it's, it's a good rule, uh, rule of thumb, to have at least six months of bills, enough money for bills to pay the bills. Then you can go into your own business, you know. But other than that, keep your day job. Collect some money. If you have that business idea, begin to ask God, give me grace. Give me wisdom to make things happen. And I promise you one thing. When God puts a hand upon your life, it puts a hand of blessing, nothing will begin to stop the blessing coming for your life. Amen, church? Let us put our hands together one more time for Jesus Christ. And that's just, you know, I'm not saying I know everything about business, but that's just from my personal experience, some things that I went through and how God has blessed me as you give tonight. This is where it comes down, you know, as you give. You're not giving, you know, to an organization or to a church. You're giving to show your faithfulness to God. Say, God, you know, I trust you with my finances. As I trust you with fi my finances, I believe that you will equip my mind, equip my hands to be able to accomplish things that nobody has done before. That nobody in your history of your family has ever done. God can give you the ability to do that. And that comes through our offerings, through our giving. It's basically saying, God, I trust you. I know that you know everything about me. The way, the way I was formed, I know that you know everything about me. And I simply say, my finances are in your hands. And would you please bless them and multiply them. Amen, church.